Hi, I'm Jackie from JackiePartridge.com. Today we're going to be painting this pumpkin, which is perfect for fall or for Halloween. This is a great project for beginners and I recommend this age for seven and up. This is a great painting for a first time painter with little to no experience. It's nice and easy and quick to do. So I'm painting on watercolor paper. This is nine by 12 inches and this larger sheet is 11 by 15 inches just so you have an idea in mind. You'll need some acrylic paint. You can also use whatever paint you have. If you have tempera or watercolor paint, that's perfectly fine to use as well. You'll need a flat brush that has a nice flat edge. This is a larger brush, about two inches, which is really nice for covering a lot of area on the background. You'll also need a round brush. It comes to a nice point. This is a size six. A smaller round brush for details again it comes to a nice point and another flat brush just for covering more area like the pumpkin this is about one inches wide you'll also need a cloth rag to clean your brush and a cup of water I have my palette I have titanium white Mars black a little bit of primary red and yellow some cobalt blue and you can use extra colors that you have as well. I also have some raw umber, ultramarine, and permanent green light, but we won't really be using those colors today. So first you wanna start uh, by painting your background. So I'm just going to take some titanium white and a little bit of Mars black and you can mix it in your palette and make a nice gray and just start covering the background of the paper. So when you're working with watercolor paper, you can tape it down to your table to keep it nice and flat, or you can choose to flatten it afterwards with a stack of books. When it's dry, that's perfectly fine as well. So I do have my table protected with a nice tablecloth so it doesn't really matter if I'm painting over the edges like this and making a big mess. So make sure you're wearing some kind of an apron or old clothes or that you have your table covered with a nice tablecloth. So once you're done, you're just going to let it dry. If you're using a watercolor paint, you're gonna to wanna to leave an area for your pumpkin that's white, just because watercolor paint isn't going to cover or layer as nicely as acrylic paint. So we can let this dry and then we can come back to it. All right, so our background is pretty much dry. And we're going to start by drawing the shape of our pumpkin. So to do this, you can trace around a larger plate or a larger plastic lid. You can also draw it on with chalk or you can simply just paint it on. So we're gonna mix some of our orange together. So we're gonna mix our primary red with a little bit of our primary yellow. To get our orange. And we're going to make a pretty big pumpkin 
So it's going to take up a lot of our space on the page. You could also paint on a canvas or a canvas board if you would like as well. So as you begin to fill in your pumpkin, you're just going to try to keep it nice and curved so that you're keeping the nice round form of the pumpkin. So kind of bring it in from the top of the little curved line, one of your three curves, and just pull your brush down in just one consistent brush stroke. And just begin to paint in your pumpkin. You want to cover all of that gray background that you painted before. And if you wanted to paint your background a different color, that's completely fine as well. So as you're painting it, you can have some parts that are more yellow, some parts that are more red just to add some variety to your painting and to make it look a little bit more interesting instead of having it all the same color of orange. So once you have your basic pumpkin shape kind of filled in, we're going to mix a little bit of a darker orange. So to do that, you're just going to have some of your yellow and your red like before. And then we're just going to mix in a tiny bit of blue. And if it looks too green, you can add a little bit more red to it. And we're just going to paint the ridges of our pumpkin. So just kind of curve it down where you've painted that little point. And you can make one go the other way. To get your brush nice to a point, you can add a little bit of water to it and just kind of brush it off against the side of your cup. So just add a few different lines kind of in different directions so that you're nice and happy with it. You can also add a little bit of white to your orange as well and add some lighter areas on the pumpkin kind of near the top. And just kind of really lightly feather it in. You don't want to cover it all with the lighter color. You just want to kind of keep it towards the top of the pumpkin to kind of show the highlight. And you can paint over your kind of dark ridge if it's a little too dark. Just paint over it with some of the light orange that is on your brush. 
kind of just blends everything together. So now we're going to paint the stem of our pumpkin. So if you have green paint already, you can use that or you can mix your own. So I'm using a little bit of blue with my primary yellow. If you want a darker green, you can add a little bit of black to that as well. And we're just going to kind of make a little semicircle for our stem. Kind of like a sideways rainbow. If you want, you could draw this in with chalk and then paint over it and wipe the chalk away after. So then you can add a little bit of black to that green to make a kind of darker shadow on the inside. Kind of blend it in a bit. could add a nice leaf if you want or one of those little curls. I'm going to use a smaller brush to do that. If you want, you could add a leaf over here, but I think I'm just going to add the cobweb like I did before. So to do your cobweb, you could do it in marker or any kind of material you wanted. You can also do it in paint. Just make sure you're using your fine detail brush. So we're just going to have some different curved lines kind of shooting out from our pumpkin. And in order to keep a nice point on our brush, you can dip it in a bit of water. So you can just have some different curved lines coming from the stem. And then we're going to kind of curve the lines, kind of like fish scales to create our spider web. So just kind of curve it in so it comes to a nice point where it meets with a couple of the lines. And just keep going until you're happy with it. You can make your spider web even wider if you want to. And then for our little spider guy, we're just going to paint a little line straight down. And we're going to draw one circle for the head and an oval shape for the body. Dip your brush in water, make sure it's a nice thin point, you can kind of rub it against something so that it creates a thinner point. 
and for the legs again you could do this in marker or, or something else if you wanted to as well just create kind of a little mountain shape and spiders have eight legs so you can do four on one side and four on the other and there you have it there is your pumpkin painting so if you like this video be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel to see new paintings every week happy painting